Before first using the ProPulse ear irrigator, it must be decontaminated using ProPulse cleaning tablets according to the manufacturer's guidelines. This cleaning procedure must also be performed once daily before use. First, fill the reservoir with tap water up to the horizontal fill line. One cleaning tablet is then placed into the reservoir. The lid is then refitted and the tablet left to dissolve. This takes approximately three minutes. Once the tablet has completely dissolved, run the solution through the tubing to the handle and all the way through the tip. The decontaminate solution is then left sitting in the machine for approximately 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, discard the solution. Next, rinse the container under warm water for at least 20 seconds. To finish the rinsing process, add approximately 100 millimeters of clean warm water into the reservoir. Then, firmly press the reservoir into place. Turn the machine on and ensure that all the decontamination solution is washed from the irrigator by rinsing it through and discarding. Remove the reservoir and dry thoroughly with a paper towel. After each use, the mushroom valve and washer should be checked on the underside of the reservoir. Ensure the washer is in good condition. If it is not, replace both the washer and mushroom valve to prevent the tank from leaking, being careful not to damage any pins. Also check that the mushroom valve is lifting correctly as the reservoir is pressed into place as shown. The current PP17 purple lid units and the previous G5 black lid units use the orange washer and mushroom valve kit. These can be purchased separately in a five-piece replacement pack. The older NG and ProPulse 2 and 3 models use a black washer and mushroom valve kit, which is also available in a five-piece replacement pack. Now, your ProPulse ear irrigator is properly cleaned and ready for use.